Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna explore five ways that men are like dogs. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, my name is Matt Schaefer, your relationship, empowerment, and connection coach. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, take a second, hit that little bell, and hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when I'm posting new content. I'm posting new videos every week, and in this week's video, we're talking about five reasons that men are like dogs. By the way, this is Bosco. Uh, this is one of my two Boston Terriers, and as you can tell, he's a magnificent, beast. But let's dive into it, shall we? All right, so the number one reason that men are like dogs is that men run off instinct. And I mean that in a very specific way. Men run off instinct in the sense that they don't think a lot about their feelings. When it comes to feelings, men run instinctually off their feelings. I mean, they're constantly in a state of reaction to whatever th whatever they're feeling in the current moment, right? So this is very different from women in the sense that women, you know, women are very much thinking into their feelings and picking them apart and analyzing them and trying to get to the root of them, right? But men don't do that. Men are basically continually in a state of trying, feeling something and then connecting it with what they're experiencing. I'm feeling this, I'm into this girl, I'm not into this girl. I'm enjoying this movie, I'm not enjoying this movie. It's very much A to B. There's not a lot of complexity to it, right? So ladies, what, what this means for you is that uh, you don't want to overanalyze the way that your man is thinking. You wanna accept the way that he's feeling at face value. Don't pick it apart, don't overanalyze it. If he's giving you a certain you know, explanation for why he's feeling that way, chances are that's why he's feeling that way. He's not hiding the ball. Is he Bosco? Is he hiding the ball? I don't think he's hiding the ball. <laughs> All right. Now, number two, the second reason men are like dogs is uh, they can tell when you're upset, even when you're trying to hide it. And you know how a dog, like if you come home and you're stressed out or you're upset, a dog can sense it and he'll come up to you and he'll sort of like comfort you or he'll sort of be hiding or whatever. Men, I know men aren't given much credit for being intuitive, but men can tell. Men have a very sort of like unconscious intuition where they can tell if you're upset, right? And here's the thing, a lot of times if you're upset and you don't talk to your man about it, guess what? He's gonna think it's his fault. Do you ever do that, Bosco? <laughs> so I say all that just to say that if if you're upset, right, and something's going on in your head or you're holding on to something, talk to your man about it, especially if he has nothing to do with it, because otherwise he's gonna think it's his fault and he's gonna start trying to figure out what he did wrong, right? And it's gonna create additional layers of problems that you do not want to deal with. Are you with me? Okay. Good. <laughs> the third reason and the third way that men are like dogs is men enjoy being petted. <laughs> yep, I've said this before and I'll say it a thousand more times. Man's first love language is touch. So if you really wanna work your way into a man's heart, it might be as easy as just stroking the back of his head or his arm or his chest or his stomach. You don't just have to stroke the obvious areas. <laughs> there are lots of sweet spots on a man's body that maybe he doesn't even know about. So uh, if you need a little refresher course on that, I did a whole video around touch, a couple videos on touch on my channel and I'm gonna be doing a lot more. But bottom line is, just pet him. Pet him and you can resolve a lot of problems, you can release a lot of tension, and you can create and foster a lot of intimacy between you and your man, right? It works, it works just the same <laughs> on these guys. The fourth way, the fourth way that men are like dogs is they don't enjoy being neutered. <laughs> So obviously, we know, I'm sorry Bosco, by the way, I'm sorry. It had to be done, right? But for your man, he enjoys being a man, right? So you don't wanna be the one to neuter him. Don't cut his 
boys off. Don't undercut him. Don't be the masculine figure in the relationship. Don't emasculate him. Allow him to be the man. Uh, give him the space and the opportunity to be the man, right? And you'll be surprised and shocked how often if you give a man time and space as an, an encouragement, how often he will rise to the occasion and really meet you there. So just honestly, even if he's been a little disappointing to you in the past, Give him a shot, right? Throw him a bone. I'm just, I'm beating, I'm beating this dog thing. I'm beating this dog thing to death. I don't mean it like that, but oh, Bosco's not amused. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep doing it, okay? And the fifth reason, the fifth reason that men are like dogs is that at the end of the day, they have simple needs. Men are not complicated, all right? Men want to eat good food, they want to sleep, they want to be comfortable, they want to feel safe, they want to be petted, they, they, they honestly just want to feel companionship, very similar to dogs, right? So if you can just like lower your walls, allow yourself to connect with them and just not, don't, don't get so over analytical about who they are and what they're up to, you get to be their sanctuary right? A man looks to a woman for safety, for freedom, for security, for release, right? A woman sets a man free with her warmth and her love. And so if you can just take it down to that simple level and just be that comforting, warm companion to him, you have no idea how much intimacy you're going to foster and how much he is going to appreciate it, right? So those are five ways that men are like dogs. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the little subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for more stuff. I'm releasing new content all the time and I can't wait to see you next time on my YouTube channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.